And I want to look him straight in the eye, and I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spotty lip, worm headed sack of monkey shit he is. Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the title? All right, guys, as you saw from my uh, video I put up the other day, finally found them. Finally found my 40s. Searched forever for them. Holy crap. The best I can come up with a couple weeks ago was the 24s. It's as close as I can come. Until one day I just happened to be Stop and get some fuel. I'm like, oh shit, they're there. Oh, shut up, fat ass. Went and did some looking around in places closer to me, too, other gas stations and stuff, and hell, found some more, some different ones. So, some of the guys out there that I know that drink 40s and stuff, look for a package. Because <laughs> you're going to be my guinea pig. But I got a country club here. I've seen it on the tubes before. I've seen some people go hell yeah, some people love it, some people are like just the nastiest shit ever. I ain't gonna drink this whole goddamn thing at once. It ain't gonna happen. Not tonight, anyways. Well, I might drink it all tonight, but not on film. Because I don't think. I got one video up that's. I was over at uh, the Hack and Pack Shop, Pisser's channel. He's got two channels with both the names, and uh, yeah, that didn't give everybody views. <laughs> it's like a 20 minute long video or something. Hmm. Just smells like regular beer. Usually, uh, like old English, you got kind of a skunky smell to it. It's not bad. Hmm. Can't complain too much. <clears throat> um. I don't even know what the hell to talk about. Now I'm going to get into that shit with uh, Connecticut, what happened there. Now I'm not even going there. <coughs> um, Uncle Ralphie, I don't know if you'll be able to see this video, but we're going to miss you for a couple weeks there, bud. Or however long it's going to be. Um, I am MBYR, I think your girlfriend's name is... We'll just call her Mrs. MBYR. Can't wait to see you on some of the videos. Should be interesting. Seen you on a couple before. I liked them. They were good. Seen you two together. It was a good thing. Um, as far as... Uh, that's one thing I want to talk about. Um, as far as me doing any winter projects, I just don't see it happening this, this winter. Um, I'm out in New York. And I got a garage I can work out of. And I got probably about 75%, 80% of my tools out here. But the garage here, it's uninsulated, which is not a big deal. I mean, I can easily, it's small enough. It's a small one-car garage. I mean, I think my Grand Dam would just barely fit in it. I don't know how the hell they put cars back in the day. I mean, this house was built in 1919. Um, the cars they made in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and 70s, I don't know how the hell they even used that as a garage. But, Whatever. I got a place I can work on shit, but they're, it's on insulated, it's not a big deal, it's small enough, you could throw a propane heater and off, you know, one of those little torpedo heaters in there and heat it up to temp, no problem. Um, New York here doesn't see the drastic temperatures you see in Minnesota, so it's not a big deal, you know, heating it. But the biggest problem is there's no power. There's no power out there. I mean, at one time there was power, because you can see where they had lights ran up and they could see where the... There's a stub piece of copper coming out the wall that goes in the ground, but there's nothing attached to it. Um, and I was, I just thought about just taking, uh, wiring up an outlet out there and just put it on its own breaker. You know, use heavy gauge wire and all that shit and just run, run, run an outlet, but I don't know. I don't know if that's doable. Um, I looked at the um, breaker panel downstairs. It's full. There's nothing open. Um... 
you know, I just thought, well, I'll just, you know, I'm, I was just thinking myself, well, I'll just get a, you know, 50 feet or 60 feet of heavy duty cable, you know, that heavy duty cable for just, it's strictly for running power so you don't have the, vo the major voltage drop. But uh, I just, I don't see it happening. Then I gotta go buy an air compressor because I don't, well, there's one out, there's one out there that's, it's okay, but I don't know. I just don't think there's gonna be any winter projects at all this year. Um, it's still nice enough right now where, uh, I don't know, things might change. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that and it's finding something to work on around here, you know. Um, everything I've found so far that interests me was just too far gone and too much, too much money, you know. I mean, I don't... Just because something's old doesn't mean it's worth a shit ton of money. You know. Found a couple of Massey Ferguson uh, 10s and 12s. And they were rougher than hell. One ain't even more. The guy won 500 bucks for it. Well, it's all they don't build this like this, but I can buy it for 500 bucks. I can buy a really nice one. You know, a nice original. But I don't know. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to go home sometime in January. Um, I was thinking, I don't know, middle of January, go home. Because I'm staying here for Christmas. This is the hell with flying because they want like 800 bucks. They go from where I'm in New York to Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm like, yeah, 800 bucks, 900 bucks. I don't think so. Um... It cost me 600 bucks round trip to drive. It's between tolls and between tolls and fuel. It's about just shy of 200 bucks. It's like 180 bucks or something. But when you add in uh, food and you know other expenses and shit and maintenance on the vehicle to make that long of a trip, you know it's uh, that's the hell of it. Then it's it's like 16, 18 hours. I left, when I drove back out here, I left at, uh, shit, about 5, 5.30 at night, and I set foot in the house here at 1.30, 2 o'clock the next afternoon. <laughs> yeah, that's not, it's not a fun drive at all. It's miserable. <laughs> I hate it. You know, the biggest the biggest thing is I gotta leave Minneapolis at a certain time and I gotta leave New York here at a certain time because I gotta go through Chicago. You know, I've driven through Chicago during the day, on the weekends and shit like that. Holy crap. No thanks. And I could just imagine what it'd be like on a weekday, you know, and everyone's going to work and everything else. So if I leave New York about two in the afternoon, I'll hit Chicago by midnight. One o'clock or so, and when I leave Minneapolis, if I leave at about six at night, I'll hit Chicago about midnight, uh, one two o'clock in the morning, somewhere in there. So I can just cruise right through me. I, I don't know. I just don't want to. Hit, you know, I thought I'd run back, and I don't, I'm like, I gotta leave at a goofy hour. I'd rather get up in the morning. You know, leave at like five or six o'clock in the morning, type of deal and just drive like a madman, you know? But with Chicago, I mean, yeah, I could go around Chicago, but it throws you so far out. I mean, it adds hours upon hours onto your drive, you know? It ain't like, oh, it's, you know, 45 minutes out of your way to drive around the son of a bitch, you know? I don't even want to go anywhere near Chicago. And the only way I know I was to go down and around, and that's like an extra hour and a half to your drive, two hours. Now I'm already in the car long enough, and fuel costs so goddamn much. It's like the hell with it. But I'm gonna go back. Come January. Speaking of which, my computer finally booted up. Let's see. Kayak wants two hundred and twenty-eight bucks, and that's leaving from Buffalo Airport. I don't want to leave from Buffalo. That's two hours away. 
Hmm. Kayaks seeing only, uh, there's no flights out of Rochester, which is odd. What are you looking at? Oh, the silent majesty of a winter's morn, the clean, cool chill of the holiday air, and an asshole in his bathrobe emptying a chemical toilet into my sewer. <laughs> Expedia, leave Rochester. I don't want to leave that freaking late. But I'm fine. I like to leave first thing in the morning. I don't know. Whatever. I'll play with that in a little bit. Instead of fucking with it right now. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about doing a uh, year review. Adding up all the videos and some of the people I've met from YouTube. Putting those clips in there and stuff. Thinking about it. Um, I, don't know, I guess we'll see what happens. I don't know. Figure I just make a little short video here. Well, it probably ain't short now. Let's see what the thing says. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, as far as a winter project, I don't think it's going to happen. It's not a money issue, it's just a place to work on shit. Um, I'm going to go back home for what I call my Christmas in the middle of January because it's just cheaper. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to shell out 600 bucks in, in driving and I don't want to shell out 800 to a grand to fly whatever the hell it is right now. I don't know. It's not pretty. That's all I know. And it's probably going to be the year in review video. I don't know. If I don't put up any more videos between now and the first year, I wish everybody a uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy holidays, however the hell you want to say it. Um, Alright guys, I guess I'll catch you later.